Yes. Um, well, one thing we you know, knew from, from the start of the show was we wanted to really create a Shakespearean kind of drama. Um, and if you look at, you know, I think all of... Uh, Shakespeare's great plays, certainly as tragedies, they're family-based and they're betrayal-based. And one of the things that we're driving towards in the end of the year is all the betrayals, all the lies that have happened, uh, you know, all the lies that Moira's told her children, all the lies that Oliver's told Moira to keep his secret identity secret, all those things are going to start to come to a head. Um, and Oliver's going to make some personal decisions based upon his desire not to betray people and not to lie to people um, because he just gets to this point where he can't lie anymore. And we're going to see the consequences of that. And, you know, I think everyone's been waiting for this big moment where Oliver and Moira confront each other uh, and, and all the dirty laundry of the year gets aired and that's what we're headed towards and it's it's been a lot of fun to write um, because it's just some rich juicy stuff that's all grounded in this you know family of characters that didn't exist in the comics in the comics uh, Oliver doesn't have a sister and Oliver's mother is dead along with his father and we're having a lot of fun with these new inventions of ours uh, to see how Oliver deals with all these people in his life. We always say that uh, we wrote Moira to look like Gertrude from Hamlet, but be ultimately revealed to be Lady Macbeth from Macbeth. Um, and it's been fun watching her make that uh, evolution and, and surprise the audience. And it's not over yet. Uh, Moira looms very, very large in the finale for obvious reasons, and the scenes that she has with Oliver are particularly potent.